everyone, it's Haley and Sam here to show you an at-home workout. So we know a lot of you are sitting at home right now trying to figure out how you can move your body over these next few weeks. So here's what we've got for you. Okay, in this workout, we're gonna start with a stretch. We'll do a quick activation series and then we'll get to two different sets, three exercises each, three times through, and finish with a timed circuit. And here to walk us through this workout with progressions, regressions, and some awesome training back from retirement is... Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's get it started. All right, we're gonna start by doing a little bit of a stretch matrix. So I'm gonna have both of these guys and you at home take a staggered stance. So one foot forward, one foot back, just by a little bit. Good, you're gonna reach your hands forward by a little, and then you're gonna reach your hands behind by a little, good. So we're gonna do this for about 15 seconds, and I just want you to notice something here. I want you to notice how the movement is created at their hips. So Haley is driving her booty back, that's why her hands go forward. She drives her hips forward, and that's why her hands go back. Very good. So we're gonna do about two more, good. Here's one, and of course, hey, let's go ahead and just do a few more seconds here. If you need to make this a little bit more, Sam, go ahead and reach it out, just a wee bit more, and then, very nice, very nice. Okay, hey, I want both of you guys now to come down onto all fours. So, we're going into something we call a cuped hover. Listen, hands and knees on railroad tracks. Get this lined up, right? I want to see really long spines here. There's no way I could get that to move, and from here, I want you to take your knees, and I mean barely pick them up off the floor. Barely picking them up, and we're just holding this for 15 seconds. So as we're doing this, I would like to be able to take a, uh, oh, a broomstick or something. You guys in here, you use those dowel rods, and I want to be able to do a straight line right there. So I'm gonna be all over Haley here with this head position, so she's not getting any of that goosenecking. Sam, nice job, it must have been all that ponytail pull <laughs> Bruce was doing with you earlier. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna lower back on down. Very good. And we're gonna go up one more time. You ready, girls? Just that little bit, so knees hovering. And you know, while you're at home doing this, I just, I just want you to notice how very little she came up off the floor here. Because most people, they come up like this, and ah, we just lost the whole, the whole thing. Right there, there's your tension. You should feel a nice reaction happening in your core right now. You don't have to think about it, like, oh, I'm bearing down, but you should just feel it reacting. Very good. All right, now we're gonna flip over on our backs, and we're gonna go into some bridging. Hey, remember those railroad tracks? Let's get those feet lined up on those railroad tracks, almost in line with your butt bones. Gentle press down with your arms here. You're gonna give me just a little bit of tension on those abdominals, tuck your pelvis a little bit, Press down on the floor with your heels, and we're gonna bridge those hips on up. Once you get to the top, find that end point. Hold it there, lower back to the floor, and come back to that end point. So that's two. We're doing a total of 15. Girls, will you just please count it out for me? Three. And I just want you to see, as we're doing this, and you guys at home, if by your 15th rep, might you just start to feel like this tissue on the front of your body, I don't know about you guys, but there's been a little bit of extra couch sitting going on, right? So this tissue might feel a little tight. Let's try by your 15th rep to feel like this is a little more pliable. Good, so check those feet out right there. You know, do you have a nice even footprint? Yes, the majority of the weight's back on your heel, but that doesn't mean that the ball of your foot and your toes aren't down. That's great, 15 reps? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, all right, so that's our prep. We're prepped, we're ready for set number one. Three exercises, push-ups, squats, and anterior reaches. Let's not waste any time here, let's get right into our push-ups. So, hey, some options for you at home. One option is you're just basically right here on the floor, yeah. right? Another option, if the floor is your option and you have nothing else to elevate on like Sam, would mean you would drop your knees, okay? So Haley is gonna give us up on her toes. She's gonna give us 12 push-ups here, Sam is doing this elevated push-up. So this elevation, if you're at home, this could be the back of a sofa. For some of you, that's a little higher than this bench. That's gonna be a great place to do that. Your kitchen counter, great place to do that. But as you're doing this, you girls are counting, right? Yep, three more. Yes, yes, three. Hey, look at this foot position, high on the balls of her feet. 
It's so good. Stay with me here, Haley. Give me two more, I'll help you. I want you to see how her legs are locked out and this core is rocked. That was so good. All right, we're up on our feet. Next, we're gonna go into 15 squats. So Sam is actually gonna start down at the bottom. She's gonna sit. Sam's gonna do something we, bar we call a sit to stand. It's a squat, but it's just a squat from the bottom. So she's gonna work from here. Haley's gonna work from the top. We're doing 15 reps. That's so good. Awesome. So, hey, with Sam here, you see how, oh, look at Sam's socks, that's so great. All right, but you know, she's given us really good ankle mobility here. You can see how her shin has a little angle. You know, sometimes I think, oh, I don't want my knee to get out over my toes. No, I don't want to get it out here too far, but it's okay to let it come forward. Otherwise, your center of gravity, you're never gonna get up. All right, so Haley, you're gonna take your last five. I want you to start giving me a different variation here. So I want you to go down, Come halfway up, go down, come all the way up, good. Go down, come halfway up, go down, you're up. Give me three like that. Picking up the pace right here, all right? Hey, this doesn't mean you couldn't do this off of this bench as well, or off of your chair. You could definitely do that pattern. Third exercise, anterior regions. So, um, Haley is gonna just be working out in space here. Sam has a nice target. Again, it could be the back of your sofa. It could be a wall. Just reach to the wall and coming back on up. I want you to just see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but when, when we were doing our cuped hovers there and we saw these trunk positions, they had their capital I's on. How about this? I want you to be thinking about that as you're doing your reach. And what are we doing here? We're doing 10 on each leg. As you're doing your reach, we should see you maintain your capital I. So as I lower back, I still have my eye on. I'm not allowed to rotate out, rotate in, keep it clean. Very nice, that's how we get good intensity. Beautiful, where are we? Done. Done after this. Woo! That's set one, thank you. Here we go, set two. We're doing a plank toe tap. And again, we're showing you a couple variations. Actually, we're gonna have a third variation from Haley here in just a little bit. So Sam is using a bench, or she's using the back of the sofa, or the kitchen counter, right? Holding herself up. The whole idea is that nothing is moving here. She's just tapping that toe out to the side. So she, uh, we had Haley start down on your forearms, her forearms there, and now she's gonna continue her set up on her tiptoes. And I'm looking, you know what I wanna see back here? I wanna see that this foot, when it returns, it goes to the exact same spot. Boom, 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 beautiful. All right, so those are our plank toe taps. Now we're gonna do some lateral lunges. So we're gonna stand with those feet together. This is home base. You're gonna always come back to that tall home base position. I just want you to notice the difference in the intensity here. The difference in the intensity is because the range of the motion, right? Range of motion, not range of the motion. But Sambo, she's tapping her thigh. She's tapping above her knee. Haley is working to get to her shin. And as this set progressed, I don't know if you noticed, but she's able to get a little lower and a little lower. So we're gonna do about 10 of those on each side. 10 of them on each side. Very good. So again, each time they step out, you see their capital eyes? They keep their eye on as they lunge out. So they're not rotating to that leg, right? They're keeping everything square, straight ahead. So we're gonna get 10 on each side, then we're gonna move into our third exercise. So we're gonna do a wood chop. So if you're at home, you don't have a medicine ball, um, there's all kinds of things you can chop with. We're gonna pretend this is a nice big pillow off of your sofa, okay? I want you all to start your wood chop at the bottom, and then you're gonna lift up and you're gonna chop down. You're gonna lift up, chop down. They're doing 15 of these, okay? And you can get incredible intensity. I mean, Sambo's working here. Even though she doesn't have any resistance as she's doing this, because she's hitting her endpoints. We started with endpoint one, and they found endpoint two, and they're nailing it each time. Exact same spot every time. That's set two. Okay, set three, we're doing 30 seconds of each exercise. So right now, ladies, I want you to get started doing a squat to toes or a squat jump. So we have 30 seconds here. And the whole idea is that we're gonna finish this workout with some power. We want you to feel explosive at the end of your workout. 
Yeah, you're gonna get some conditioning from this. You're gonna get conditioning. And everything we've done up to this point, this squat, we've seen this already, haven't we? So now they know exactly where they need to be each time they squat. Good, last one. So now we're gonna get some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, and Sambo's given us a little variation here. You don't have to leave the floor. We can do this without that plyometric component. And she's working. She is working. If I told Sam that I want to see her my zone up in red right now doing this, she could get it done. Very good. And hey, real quickly, Haley's feet. Man, she is spending so little time on the floor here. Pop, 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 pop. Three, two, one. Very nice. All right, hands on hips. Ready? Here we go. Home base right here. We're stepping back into alternating reverse lunges. 30 seconds. Do it. Very nice. So Sam is just, she's working at a range of motion that's feeling good on her body right now. All right, this is, um, it's not a loaded exercise. Um, we're not working to really improve her mobility right now. We just want her to move into this pattern. So she can move at this pace to get intensity. And that's the whole idea. And Haley, of course, has given us just a little bit more. And Haley, I want you to take this for the last 10 seconds in an alternating split jump, if you would, please. So switch, switch, switch. Good, she's gonna give us one more each side. That is it, set three. Thank you, everybody.